Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. Who's going to win? You know, everybody, oh, he's a YouTuber. You know, he's not a real boxer, blah, 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 blah. Ben Askren's not a real boxer. Yes, he is one of the highest caliber of wrestlers there is. This isn't wrestling. He is fought in the MMA. And I mean, let's be honest here. When he got to the UFC, he beat Robbie Lawler, who was like way out of his prime and then got in the history books for getting KO'd for the fastest time in five seconds by Jorge. So, I mean, I wouldn't say he's the greatest, you know, everybody's talking about he's a decorated MMA. Like, yeah, he, he's fought in stuff under than the UFC, like, you know, almost a decade ago when he was reigning those divisions. And the sport and this age has, has grew fastly and tremendously since that time that he was, you know, winning stuff in Bellator or Strike Force or whatever, one championship. You know, when it comes down to it in the UFC, let's let's be real. He the Robbie Lawler fight got ended in a weird fashion where Lawler was completely fine right after it was called off. So he technically really didn't beat Lawler, but everybody, oh he stood toe to toe. But that was also a long time ago. He's been retired. He's had hip surgery. I mean, did you see the guy's clips of him training? Whether he's trolling or not, just to have that bad of technique, even trolling, to be able to troll and do that is just like, you got to suck. Like he has, like he's throwing hammer fist and like he's striking how he did in MMA. Terrible. So I don't get why people think just because he's fought in the UFC two times barely snuck out with a win once and then got killed the second that he could beat Jake Paul and yes who is Jake Paul beat nobody he beat Nate Robinson slam dunk champion when I was in high school and another YouTuber that is correct but it's not like he lost to them he beat these guys because that's the best opponents he could get at the time this kid is putting in the work if you take any kid that has any sort of af you know athletic ability and you give him the best training in the world which he has the best training camps the best places the best coaches when you have him doing that for years this hasn't been weeks that he's been doing this when you have a young kid of his age and his athletic ability it's not like this kid was a scrub or a gamer or just a youtuber in high school he wrestled in high school and i'm pretty sure he went to college and did pretty good too so it's not like he just woke up one day and was like oh i want to be an athlete and get into boxing you if you're an athlete and you train extremely hard at a sport you're going to be good at it especially when you have the caliber of coaches and facilities that jake paul has he has better stuff better coaches than Ben Askren has. I mean, he has more money than Ben, extremely a lot more, so he can afford way better coaches and all that stuff. So the fact that people are even, like, I'm pretty sure Ben's a favorite in this. Like, I mean, bet on Jake, man. I wish I had the million to bet bet against Dana White because there's no way that Ben's going to beat Jake. It's, I don't think there's going to be a knockout. I think it's going to go the full, the full eight rounds or whatever it is. And I think it's going to be an ugly, you know, fight because Ben's going to make it that way. He's going to try and wrestle him, grapple him. There's going to be a lot of hugging, a lot of like, it's just going to look bad. And he's going to try and wear him down. And everybody's like, Oh, Jake doesn't got conditioning just because we never saw it. It doesn't mean he doesn't have it. This kid is out there training right now, like hard, like, trust me, I guarantee he has fought in sparring, which I know sparring is not exactly fighting, but I'm sure this kid has pushed himself to the limit limits with pro boxers like Zab Judah saying that this kid has hands. I'm sure he's pushed himself to that limit limit that he's going to get to with Ben with way better boxers than Ben. So, I mean, I get a lot of the MMA guys are trying to pick Ben, but it's going to be the same situation as in when Connor stepped into the boxing thing. Mixed martial arts, UFC, and boxing is not the same. I respect MMA, and I think it's cool how they have all, you know, all kinds of things, you know, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, kickboxing, all. I love that stuff, but it is not boxing, and those guys cannot come in to a boxing sport and beat a high caliber guy, which I'm not saying Jake Paul is, but he's training like one right now. And he's got the coaches like one and he's got the camps like one. And I don't think Ben has that. So I think Jake's definitely going to win this fight. I don't think it's going to be a knockout. I think it's going to go the distance. I think 
Jake's going to definitely beat him in the opening rounds. And then, you know, I'm sure his conditioning is finally going to show. And he probably will get a little tired, but he's not going to totally gas out like everybody's saying. And this kid's just going to die as if he's never tested himself into those type of rounds. That's what he's doing right now in camp. That's what he's been doing. So, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised, which I don't see how. Because, you know, it's like I said, you look at their clips of them training and Ben looks like he picked up boxing gloves for the first time. Like, I don't want to hear what divisions or what college national trope this guy won that means nothing right now these guys are boxing with their hands there's gonna be no takedowns there's gonna be no double legs single legs none of that is gonna be boxing with your fist and I will stand behind it as someone who's been boxing for over a decade and very into the sport that boxing is the most elite sport when it comes to fighting because for one it's the most entertaining I mean who wants to see guys you know wrestle and grapple and hug for 15 minutes like yeah you know it can be fun if the certain matchup is right but what do you really want to see you want to see two guys go out there and bang with their fists and that's exactly what this sport is becoming you see a lot of these guys Dustin Poirier Max Holloway all all these guys Conor McGregor all becoming their styles are turning into boxing they all want to turn to guys that got hands because that's what people want to see and that's the most dangerous you want to see guys like Francis that on their feet can throw their hands and knock guys out Stipe is so good because he is a division one wrestler but he was also a golden glove boxer and one of the best you got to have hands in this sport I feel like a lot of these guys all they do is train jiu-jitsu 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 and then they got their one little one hour class of kickboxing and then that's all they do and then they got a guy that could throw hands and they put him right on their ass when it comes to the fights a lot of these guys like max holloway said i'm the best boxer in mma in the ufc the reason why he said that and that was so important because boxing is important it's an entertaining that's what we want to see we want to see the knockouts we don't want to see guys with heel hooks and ryan hall's uh 50 50 we don't want to see that we want to see a guy put to sleep you know so back to the subject Jake Paul is going to win. I'll bet whatever you guys want on it. Hit me up. Find me on Instagram and we'll bet on it because there's no way Napoleon Dynamite, Ben Askren, has any chance versus Jake when it comes to boxing. This guy, his video, my 10-year-old daughter has better hands than him. So leave a comment below and you guys are going to feel dumb once you guys are all proven wrong and Jake beats this guy. Boxing over MMA all day.